Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll be taking you through the HTML embed multimedia. We are already aware of adding images to a web page. We have been doing it for quite some time now. In this tutorial, we'll see how we can embed other multimedia files into a web page, which directly affects the interactivity of a web page. So before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. Adding an image to a web page is not a big task. We can do it with the help of an image tag in HTML. We can also style that image according to our needs with the help of a style tag or CSS we can see. But when it comes to videos or audios, there are some other tags present in HTML for such tasks. So before we discuss how to add multimedia files to a web page, let's discuss why we need them on a web page. Sometimes, we need multimedia files on a web page to make it look more attractive to the user. Obviously, a user will go through a website if it contains a video or some sort of background audio or so. It will surely attract the user's attention if a web page contains something exceptional or different from other web pages. Now, the question is how we can attach a multimedia file to a web page using HTML. The HTML embed tag is used to attach a multimedia file to a web page. This tag is quite easy to use but comes with certain limitations as well. So let's go through the syntax of the embed tag first and then we'll see the alternative to this particular tag. So what we'll do is we'll move to the body section of our HTML document and we'll mention embed over here. Fine. Then we have to close this tag as well because VS Code is not working with this particular tag. So we'll write here embed. So this is a embed element we can say. Now the next thing we have to do is we have to mention the type of our file. So we'll write here type video slash mp4. mp4 here is the extension. Now we have to mention the source. So we have this video present inside the video folder. So we have two videos over here with .mp4 extensions. So let's use video one dot mp4 and that's it. So what we are doing here is we are simply asking the system to embed this particular file to a web page. The file type is video and mp4 here defines the extension of that particular file. This file will get attached to a web page on saving the program. Save the program and you can see here that we have a video present on the browser. Now. The limitation of using this particular element is it does not allow us to make certain changes to the embedded file as it does not have many attributes. So let's add another video file here and then we'll see the difference. So what we'll do is we have another video file present inside the video folder, right? So we'll add it over here. So we'll use the embed element once again. We have to write here embed again to close this particular element so we'll write here embed now what we'll do is we'll define the type for this file as well so type is going to be video slash mp4 then we have the src as well src is going to be video 2 present inside the video folder save it now and here you can see we have another video present over here fine so you can listen to the sound or we can say the music of this particular video so what we're going to do is we are going to mute it everything is working fine as of now right the problem is not every browser supports this element some browsers may malfunction while using this element for example if you can see here we have two different videos right the first video has controls for pausing or playing this video but the second video here does not have any controls for we have used the embed tag for both the videos and the browser is malfunctioning, right? So the alternative way for attaching multimedia files to a web page is by using the video tag for video files and the audio tag for audio files. The benefit of using them is we can use them according to our needs as they provide us with certain attributes. So let's use the video tag for attaching a video to a web page first. So what we'll do is we'll remove these embed tags from here. And now we'll use the video tag. So what we have to do is we have to write here video. So this is the tag in HTML. 
Now what we need to do is we need to provide the source again. So save this program once and here you can see we have nothing on the browser as of now. Now what we'll do is we'll write here video slash then we'll add video one dot mp4. That's all we need to do in order to attach a video to a web page. Save the program. And you can see here that we have an image present on the browser. It is actually a video, but we do not have any controls or anything to play it as of now. So what we need to do is we need to add controls to this particular video. Also, the size of this video is quite large, right? So what we'll do is we'll change the size first. So we'll change it with the help of height and width attribute, obviously. What we'll do is we'll mention here height height is going to be let's say 400 pixels and then we have the width as well width is again going to be 400 pixels save it now and here you can see it looks fine now so let's reduce the size a bit so width we are going to keep 300 pixels and here you can see it's working fine as of now right the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add those controls to play pause the video for that what we need to do here is we need to mention controls over here. So we'll write here controls, save the program and here you can see we have these controls now. We can play this video, we can pause this video, we can mute it, we can unmute it, we can increase or decrease the volume of this video and we have certain other options as well like the playback speed, the picture in picture mode and some more things, right? We can increase the size and we can do many more things with controls. The next attributes we have for this element are the autoplay and muted attributes. So what we are going to do is we are going to write here after controls. So we'll write here autoplay and muted. Fine. Save the program and you can see the video will be played automatically with no audio. You can see it over here. This video is muted as of now. Right. So let's add another video here because I think that this particular video has no sound or very low sound. So what we'll do is we'll copy this piece of code from here. We'll paste it here and we'll change the file name. So file name is video2 for another video. Save it now and here you can see we have another video. Now this particular video is also autoplaying because we have mentioned autoplay over here inside this. And we have written muted as well. So let's remove the muted attribute once. Save it again. And here you can see we have this video with audio. Fine. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to mention muted over here. Save it now. And here you can see there is no audio anymore. Fine. The background music is muted because we have passed the muted attribute over here inside this particular video tag. So it is working totally fine. So guys, this is how we can add a video file to a web page with the help of video element in HTML. Similarly, we can attach an audio file as well. For that, what we have to do is we have to use the audio element or we can say the audio tag. So we'll write here audio, close it. And here we have the audio element. We have to pass the source. Source is going to be inside the audio folder. We have trackman.wav. So wav here is the extension of this particular file. Now, all the other attributes for both audio and video elements remain the same. We can also use the control attribute or the autoplay attribute with the audio tag as well. Save the program and here you can see we have no audio file present over here as of now. This is because for the audio tag, we need to mention controls over here. Only then it will work fine. Save it now and here you can see we have an audio over here. Now, what we'll do is we'll comment these videos as of now. So, we'll write here. This will copy it from here and we'll comment videos on it. So we'll paste it here, save it now. And here you can see we have an audio present on a web page. So let's try to play it once. You can see it over here. If we click on this play button, you can see it has audio. So we can mute it as well. Now let's use the autoplay and the muted attribute. So we'll write here autoplay muted save it now and here you can see the audio is playing automatically and it is muted as well both these attributes are working fine so guys this is how we can embed multimedia files to a web page without worrying about the embed tag in html the only thing to keep in mind is the extension of that particular file 
If you think your file is not working, then try using the type attribute inside the audio or video type and give the file extension there only. Fine, try doing it by yourself and let us know if you have any queries. That's all for this video guys. See you in the next one where we'll go through HTML header. If you enjoyed watching this video, then do give it a thumbs up. If you have any doubts, do let us know in the comments. Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Simply cool. Thank you.